Hello YouTube, I am here with the Eddie Horvath and today is Sauerkraut Saturday and basically it's, it's very simple, um, everybody gets they overthink sauerkraut. You need basically cabbage, you need canning salt and you cannot use any salt with iodine in it, it has to be canning or pickling or I think they even sell kosher salt. Uh, we use alum and this you don't use much, but what it does is it keeps that sauerkraut absolutely crisp and crunchy. Uh, otherwise, if you don't put the alum in, it'll get pretty soggy. You need a scale because we do weigh it and we do double check. You know, ev everything is consistent so you don't have hot spots that are too salty or rotten spots because there wasn't enough salt. Um, you need a good crock. And these. This come from my grandpa. Um, these crocs are well older than me, and uh, they're just good to have. This is a 10 gallon, and a 10 gallon crock will hold approximately 50 pounds of sauerkraut. And last but not least, you need a good shredder. And I had built this myself. Uh, someone had an old, old antique shredder, and all that was left really was them knives. So I remounted them into my own thing. I have a box with the lid on it. You put the cabbage in it, and when you slide it past them knives, it does all the magic. And it keeps uh, that lid keeps these attached because this thing would rip you apart. So we're going to go ahead and start uh, processing the the uh, cabbage here. And Eddie's going to show you real quick. All you have to do is you want to peel. You want to take the core out of it, and. Um, we could have cut these on a sawmill, Ed. Yeah, a cabbage on a sawmill. Maybe we'll have to do that one day. We'll have to do some halushki. Yeah, see the core right there? There's two cuts. Yeah, you make a V. And that's pretty much it. And it's ready for the shredder. And we'll show you a video of that here in a minute. So once you got everything prepped to this point, we're going to go ahead and shred it, and then we're going to show you how we finally put it all together here. So we'll be with you here in a minute. Okay, and something else I forgot to mention. Before we used any of this stuff, we, we have a sanitizer we put on there. And we scrub everything down really good. You don't want to take no chance of uh, getting yourself sick. So we'll see how the first few go through here today. And... This is what you end up with. So we got another oh see. We got about another 95 pounds to go, so enjoy the video while we shred the cabbage.
Okay, back to real time. Um, that took what, roughly 20 minutes? About 20 minutes, and that's a 50 pound bag shredded up. So we're gonna give you the next step here how we make this, so we'll be with you here in a minute. Alrighty, now that we got that shredded, and actually in, in real time, we said 20 minutes, I looked at the uh, GoPro when I turned the film off, it was only 13 minutes it took to do a whole bag of cabbage. Got it sitting on a scale here, we want 10 pounds of shredded cabbage. Okay, per five pounds, you wanna use three tablespoons of salt. So we're gonna do 10 pound batches, so what we're gonna do is we're doubling the amount. So this is a third cup right here, it works out just about, just a little bit below level, but you're better off to have just a little bit more salt than not enough, because the salt is what's gonna keep this. And then the alum, it's just, you buy this anywhere in a seasoning section, this is an eighth of a teaspoon. You, you just wanna put a heaping eighth of a teaspoon in there, and this is already mixed up, and um, we're gonna go over to the crock next, and we're gonna show you how we pack it in there. So go over this one more time, 10 pound of shredded cabbage, third cup of salt, eighth of a teaspoon of the alum. And that's it, that's simple as you can get. So we'll go over to the crock here and we'll show you how we pack it in there. Okay, we have a separate tub which we had sanitized too. Everything we're using today we have really washed thoroughly because this, this is really critical. So here's our weighed cabbage and we dump it in here and then the third cup of salt and the alum and you want to just sprinkle it over there and the best part is you want to mix that up thoroughly because if this if this uh, salt don't get distributed I got this on the tripod I'm getting as bad as John here <laughs> you want to really mix that up because now that salt is incorporated in there with the alum. You'll feel it in your hand too, it will start getting wet. Yeah, the, you know the it'll actually gone. get soggy from that, uh, yes, you feel it. from the salt there, so. That's about it. Okay, now over to the crock, and we'll set you up here. So what you wanna do is put it in layers. And that's just a potato masher. You can use a stick, clean and stick. You want to stomp this down. Air is your enemy in here. Because the more air you have in there, the more room you have for something to go wrong as far as rotting. So basically, it's pretty simple. Just keep layering it up. And this is a 10 gallon crock. And you can still buy these today. They still, they still make the Crocs. Yes, they do. And they also make shoes, I think they call Crocs too. I don't think they're the same though, Ed. So we're gonna go ahead and just keep layering it up here and we'll update you here in a second. Okay, now that we got everything packed into the Croc, you wanna take a paper towel, you wanna to wipe off any excess far as your, uh, your cabbage. And I like to just, you don't need much, a little bit of salt on the very top. Just sprinkle a little bit on there, maybe just a touch more, because this is the very top of it and this is where you don't want nothing to happen. This is a white oak board. I cut it small, smaller, a lot smaller. <laughs> because a lot of people, you'll, you'll find a lot of crocs at a flea market and they're all cracked. Well, the old timers would put a board in here and this is all you're gonna do is you're gonna set this oak board down on there and this is your press. Uh, when this gets wet, it's gonna swell. If it's tight, it, it'll blow the sides right out of this crock, so make sure that's loose. You could use a dinner plate. Mm -hmm. You could use, uh, you can buy that uh, um, cutting boards, that, that uh, white cutting board, you could make them. Okay, now we get a garbage bag. Make sure it's a garbage bag with no scent. Uh, just a plain old garbage bag, and I like to do two of these, so you're going to put one down in, and you'll see why here in a second. This is going to form your gasket, and the old timers, 
would have a lot of problems with, uh, let me get this one open. The old timers would use uh, rocks, anything to, bricks, whatever, to, to press your sauerkraut, and they would not get a good seal on here. Now, if you think that's good enough, here's the next thing. Make sure you get a good quality garbage bag, fill it up with water, tie a knot in the top of it. Now this sits in here, and this is like your gasket. This is like a plug, it's the weight, and it allows the gas to come out, and it don't allow no air to go in. So we're gonna go put this in the basement, and in 28 days, we will be having sauerkraut. But we're gonna check it in like two weeks. That's what I always do, pull, pull the lid, check it. You should have that nice aroma at that point. So um, that is our take on our sauerkraut. So we'll be with you here in a second. I'm here with the Eddie, and I hope you enjoyed the sauerkraut. Yeah, it didn't and, take uh, us long, about 45 minutes. Yeah, and that's, that's 50 pound, ready to go. So we hope you enjoy this video and I hope you try it. Um, sauerkraut's not all that hard to make and I, I think you really like it. It'll be ready for beyond New Year's so you'll have it ready for the holidays. And uh, we'll give you a video. This is my personal bar and uh, we'll give you a tour of this someday. So we'll talk to you guys next week and everybody hope they enjoyed this video. Bye-bye.